All right, welcome back to our casual playthrough of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, oh boy, if you remember, I did reload this thing here um, because I wanted to try something. Oh, that didn't work. Looks like the weak point is up there, from what I can tell. Um, so I probably have to do this. Did that hit him? A little bit, yeah. That hurt. Okay. Um, I guess I got back these other foods that I used before since I reloaded. How do I... Dude. Okay, that helped. Now what? Can I actually fight them at all? No. No, that doesn't work. It's not like a talus, not quite. Crap, 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 crap. Run! Made into my extra stamina there. Nope, nope, nope. My last bomb flower. Oh, wait. What was that? this again. How do I do this one? Probably have to fly up. Um, is there anything else I can use? No. No. Well, wait, is he going down as I'm doing that? Oops. Shock fruit, I just got this one. No, he doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, what? How do I... How do I get him to come down? That was close. No. He's right over here. No. 
Oh wait, no, he's not right over there. That's just because the sun's off. Time bombs. So I'm not out of bombs. Maybe I can shoot a time bomb at him. Do I? Oh, there we go. Maybe? I actually don't know how to launch this. Well, that didn't work. It fell off. No, no, no. Ah, oh, so close. I just got lost. <laughs> okay. I think I got it now. I was trying to use my other abilities and I didn't even think about recall. Recall is not one of those that I think about the, the most often. Easy once I figured out how to do it. Dude. Oh my gosh, this has so many things. Oh, a homing cart. Nice. I like those things. Tons of zone I charges. What is this? What is that? Why can't I pick it up? Are you and what do I do with you? Is something to do with over there? Is there anything else over here to do? Must be a Zonai device of some sort. I'm assuming. Maybe I can use it to fuse. Looks like it'd be a wicked thing to do as far as either fusing or uh, ultra handing. What is this? Ah, there's a construct, I mean, a control thing. Dude. Okay. I don't know what that other one is, but let's see. Any Sunday lines around here? Stand old. Party radish, those are always nice. I need a couple I need to make something with that.
Oh, there's some line over there. Okay. Oh, another one. These things really do blend in. Okay. Um, just a sec. Let's do something a little bit different. thinking of what I've seen in other ones. Like, they make this little bike thingy. So there's another one in front. But it's, like, angled somehow. That's not it. <laughs> That'll be blowing us back the other way. So wait. Want some downward thrust. Oops. I mean upwards thrust. So this is this is one way. Two. Is that it? I guess forward and I don't know. Let's see. It's a little off. <laughs> and of course I don't have very much in the way of batteries. Can I do this now? Or do I have to have my own batteries? Like, I mean, my own uh, power. No? Can't get on that one? Why not? Well, maybe I'll just take this one. <laughs> and add a couple batteries to it. I'm not figuring that out quite yet, so I'll add a couple batteries to this one. Actually, can I fuse that to something? What do I have? Um, you know what? I, I like that cannon, but honestly, it's been kind of weak. It's Construct for two. Ooh. Okay. So 29 now. Resonates. Okay. Well, maybe. It's a one handed sword. Okay. Yep. 
This is cool. Oh wow, you get out fast. What else do we have around here? I probably should have figured that out before I got up here. Wait a minute, where am I? <laughs> okay, so we got that star one over there. We got some more behind me. How do I control this thing? Wow. Okay, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh. It didn't want to stay on me. Okay. Let's go this way. Towards that star island. Kind of sucks that I used up the... Uh, I used up all the, what you call it? No, it's probably up higher. Used up all the batteries. Oh, there it is. Huh. Well, it's probably just Hylian text. I'm not going to worry about it for now. Um, what do I want to do now, though? Um, there's all sorts of stuff over that. I want to go down in this. I oh, know I wanted to go to Terrytown. That's right. I wanted to go to Terrytown. So let's go that way. Oh, there's the... There's one of the shrines. <laughs> nice. Go over to the shrine first, or the... T Everything's exploding. Well, let's go to Terrytown first. Ooh, there's a minecart system or something. Hudson Construction Site. Wait, so that's Hudson Construction Site down there, I think. This appears still Terrytown, right? Yeah, let's find out, I guess. It is Terrytown, but find out what's here. Okay, so we can buy bomb flowers. Definitely doing that. Huh. First time in her shop. Good choice. In case you missed it, we also carry monster extract now. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Probably the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things. You can attach arrows for a little extra oomph. A contract, contact of mine helped me source monster extract, and now I have a sideline in that too. Mm -hmm. Interested? I can hook you up. Sun and done. Yeah, no. Oh. That's what you're in the market for, huh? Let's get them all. I wish you had more of them. Those are dazzle fruit. I've got 32, that's enough for now. 153, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, you got one of these here too. Good. Here. Oh, is that actual Hudson over there? I have instructions for you. Unique room by room building style. You can create the rooms you make. You can take the rooms you make and then create the perfect layout for yourself. Please talk to Ronson at reception. And turn your ideal home into reality. That's this person, right? Probably. Anyways. Oh. Yeah, Ronson. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. So I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mon Monari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just been on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Going to be picked up. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Huh? A customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? 
That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry. We're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Oh. Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Cherrytown is doing really good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Mm. My little Madison. Wait, how little? If she's being picked up and taken off or whatever. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. Ooh. I'm going back to work now, Ronson, but don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. Dude, how long has it been? Sigh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up. This weird rock uses me in the creeps. I gotta go get the thing for this. <laughs> the uh, shrine. I gotta hurry and find some sucker to... Hmm? Oh. Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use a rail car. I'll collect that for you. Oh. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee and limited ride? That's a bargain. How about it? Sure, <laughs> why not? Very good. You're all set. Yes, profit, profit. Oh. Controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. What's that rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Not for that price. Let's see if I can get it down. About 80 rupees. It's a one-time only deal just for you. Hmm, can you go lower? Rock for sale. Hey, what are you doing? Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a real big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees a more than fair price. But, but I already said an absolutely fair price, and he might have... Okay, no need for the stern wife look. <laughs> so, well, what do you say? It's a real deal of just, just 50 rupees. Sure. What? He's actually going to buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. But that's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. In the back? Oh, there. Okay, so... Where does this thing go? Pull the beam to its end. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. So this is a backwards one from what I did before. It's over there. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay, just a sec. Oops, not that one. Okay, stay there. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Probably easier to send it over there, actually. Don't want to put too much strain on this rail car. Don't know if it's any good. Oh, it's going this way. Okay. So how does everybody else use it if it's using my battery right now? Oh gosh. Oh, there's a thing. Oops. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're all going to ride it, but can you be more careful? You're not the only one who uses it. I'll fix it up, just hang on. <laughs> The zona device isn't broken up. Next, this goes like this. There. Okay, it's fixed up. Now, where did. Oh. Really? You put my rock back up there? How did you have the time to go all the way up there? Dude, you stink. Okay. Anyways, let's go over here. Talk to you first. Ah, are you interested in this too? Yeah, I got the stuff to do it, so don't worry. I got it. Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. Yes, we can. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. 
Well, what is it? And where did it fall from? Well, it fell from up there. There's a an island up there. A few of them. Okay. Watch and learn, my friend. Where did they go? I type. Okay. Put them in and get stuff. What stuff is here? Ooh, ooh, there's a control thing. Huh? That's what those things are. There are zoning devices inside this thing? Yeah. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly a tr be a truly amazing discovery, probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village, Nakuda, south of here has one. And there's one in the southwest, too, at Dig Dog Bridge, near the entrance to the Garuda region. Uh, Could it be that the types of zoning devices inside each area's contraption are different? Yeah. Uh, Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially award you for your big discovery. Thank you. Yes, underline. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village. That's to the south of here in Nakluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Cool. Now let me get my th stuff. Steering stick. That's what that is. Steering stick. Another big wheel. What's this? A small wheel. Okay. Best suited for flat surfaces. Doesn't handle hills or even bumps very well. Okay. Okay, well that's cool. Let's do that again, because I'm going to need steering sticks, I'm sure. Okay. I don't think I got very many steering sticks. Uh, I got seven of them. Okay, that's not bad. I got four small wheels, seven steering sticks. Still only have one homing cart. <laughs> it's like a little adorable turtle. <laughs> With big teeth. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'll be fine with that. I don't want to do any more. There's another big wheel there. What is this? Is this going down into a cave? Nice, it's a little dark. Construction site cave. You know what? I don't like the... Oops, not that. I don't like the way this is. There we go. Oops. Oh. Okay. Oh, what's this? Can I use Ultra Head on the, on the thing? No. Can I send up and get down somewhere else? see anything in there. Go through the roots maybe? Seems like there's roots there. Is that a tree? Is there another place I can fall down through? Let's try it. Go over here maybe? Is there a well? Oh, 
there. Ow. That actually does hurt me. Wow, I didn't know the bubbles hurt me. A bubble? Wait. I already know what a bubble gem is. <laughs> okay, so this is another side? place I can jump in through here. There's where that other one went to. Pretty sure. There's another one there. Huh. Well, I don't know how to do this right now. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Alright, um, before I lose anything, let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so it's basically right here is where I need to be. I think I already went in through that one. Is there another one over there? Another one over there? Is that what this is? Wait, this is the one I went in. Okay, never mind. So if I went in through this one... This is the one I went in earlier. Okay. Oh, I'm so all sorts of confused. No, why didn't I just descend out of there? Oh, that's weird. It's raining, but it's not affecting me. Okay, so I went in this one and that one over there. Here that I can jump down into? No. Not over here. No. Interesting. So wait. I'm going to do that one and that one. How about over here? Is there something over here? No, it's just this thing. Interesting, okay. Um, what is this all here? Who are you? Ah. Working in the right. Ah. Who are you? This is a Hudson construction site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. There's no place for civilians, not to mention the falling ruins. Those are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. Hudson Construction? It's the number one construction pro company. And they don't only do buildings like the ones that look at landing. They also build machinery like the Skyview Towers. Amazing. And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. Mm. This balloon. Can you believe it was made using Zonite devices? Eh. Pura has taken a keen interest in all the Zonite devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon for the Zonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Ahem. Anyway, as I, as I was saying, we do critical work here. No civilians allowed. More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Yeah, I've been able to see. 
Look, see that only three have been found on the surface. So I've been to two then. Who's the other one, I wonder? To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into your lap. Incredible. Ahem, I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. Oh. If you're headed to Terrytown, that rail car to the east is the quickest route. Yeah, I know. So this is a house, it looks like. It's like I told you. Hey. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left des the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Aww. You've got it all wrong, it's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true, we haven't figured out how to control these vehicles, but that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. Uh? So, what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. <laughs> hmm, you found nothing among these Zona devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Uh? Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You trying to tell me that something that old and rundown is still useful? Oh. Please. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. Hm, fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. So you just need to make this work. Should I just put a little control thing on it? I mean, I could. <laughs> You're gonna have to have batteries too. What am I supposed to do, anyways? Master the vehicle. No one knows how to control it. Okay. Do I have to talk to you again? Oh, um, you're not with Hudson Construction, are you? I guess if he's here, he must be involved somehow. <laughs> the name's Furnison. I'm working with Hudson on a Zone device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a Zone device capable of controlling the vehicles. We tried all the devices in Terrytown, but none of them worked. We even brought in a couple of top-notch Garuda racers to get their advice, but I'm afraid that made things worse. Try the steering stick. Huh? Oh, what is this? I've never seen a Zone device like this before. But I don't think I can do anything with it. Not like this, anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. <laughs> Try it on that vehicle prototype there's there so we can see how it works. Okay, fine. I'll just jump up here. And we will... Oops. We will grab... One of, oops. Grab one of these. Take it out. Uh, wrong one. Maybe back here. Aha, so that's how you set it up. Yes, yes, now I see how it could be used to steer something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favor to ask. Okay, fine. <laughs> Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh -huh. Ah, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. And let's see. Hmm, I think I flipped the switches here and here, and yes. Ah. Ta-da! It's a test drive, of course, you see. There's pillars of light that disappear when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that, and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly, but if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new vehicle, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. Okay, yeah. let's, let's try it. Let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Is it going to be limited to my, my battery? Now let me quickly remind you of the rules. 
simple religious touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Oh, and don't let go of the steering device or go too far off the course. You can't get the driving data we need if you do that. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry. Oh, crap. Oh. So it was going the other way. Wow. <laughs> this is so weird driving backwards. I wonder how many other people have done this. This is super easy to beat this time though. Yeah, I should have paid attention to the way the wheels were pointed. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> yeah, those wheels have arrows. I should have should have actually paid attention. Wow. But even backwards is still easy. Ah. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Whew, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh. We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zone A device's full capabilities. And uh, I'm kind of new to on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. Eh, I can use a silver rupee. That works. Hey, you're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Oh, nice. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one to here is probably South Akala Stable. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle's up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown race project, and finally I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Uh -huh. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. <laughs> the Terrytown race? Hmm, yes, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Let's, um, switch this around. <laughs> I mean, I can't put it back in a capsule anymore, unfortunately, but I can at least do that. Get it going the right way for them, and for myself if I ever decide to do that later on. Okay, so here's another one with some small wheels. Interesting. Um, let's maybe head back up to Terrytown, because I need to get that thing. I need to make sure I don't break anything now. I should probably switch my... My, whatchamacallit, my weapon to something that doesn't break things. I don't think that'll break anything. You are not fast. <laughs> what is over there, I wonder? I mean, of course, it's the the shrine, but I mean, I wonder what I have to go through to get that. Is it right there, or is it like on the other side of a waterfall, or what? It seems to go through a mountain. It's hard to see. We're almost there. There's a thing up there. I should probably go do that shrine. There we go. So yes, this does not break it. Good. What is this? Oh, a tomato. No special properties, just fill me up. Okay. Anything else up here? What is this? Dude. Kilton. Oh, it's a mask. <laughs> it's an honor to see your face in my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. You met again with my younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. 
He's a bit eccentric, I know, I know. But I hope you find it inside your heart to treat him with kindness. Ah, oh, where are my matters? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods for monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them for my shop. Once I had saved up a tight little nest omelette, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can at least make a real make real a dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. E, I am equipped with excitement at the thought of it. What's your dream? The truth is, and this is just between you and I, I have adored monsters ever since I was a wee Kilton. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monster is disgusting. <laughs> but here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land. Hudson. <laughs> hee hee hoo hoo. As soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spectacle the likes of which no one has seen before. Hmm, cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, that's enough for this episode. We've been going long here, so uh, we'll call it a day. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do next. I'll kind of think about that. Maybe do that shrine or something, um, or one of the other shrines. We'll see. Um, but anyways, it's uh, been a fun episode, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like this video, comment below, and uh, you have a great day.